Are you kidding me? Oh, I died by that Goku dude. But... Weed baby Goku? Yeah, this yeah. is the one I feel like is hacking. I still think that weed baby Goku is hacking. I'm telling you, that guy's not legit. Hey guys, I know you're all excited for the June Battlegrounds update. Uh, luckily for you guys, I stayed up all night playing on the test server, testing things out. So the first thing you're going to notice is the sky looks different. Um, it is darker and this one is called Sunset and it's going to change the whole look of the match. The next thing you'll probably notice is the hatch of the plane actually opens up when it's time to jump out. Let's see that one more time uh, from some other angles. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Next up, uh, we have some changes to the vehicles. The motorcycle noises have changed and some of the physics have been adjusted. Let's hear that bad boy rev up one more time. Okay, on to changes uh, people might actually care about. About half the shacks will change into a destructible model made out of popsicle sticks. You can easily drive through or destroy these with gunfire. Ooh. Okay, yeah, that's useful. Driving through them is obviously very fun, so here's a few more clips of that. The other half of the shacks remain pretty much the same, uh, they just got painted a different color. And here's some proof that you can't shoot them up or drive through them. There's been a few changes to object interaction. For example, you can interrupt a reload to open a door. There's also a new picking up animation and it won't interrupt your movement. Another tweak a lot of you guys will like is that reviving has been prioritized over picking up loot. So now it'll be easier to revive your teammates who are crawling on top of loot. Pistols can now take red dot sights, which will make medium range combat much easier with them. And that gives you another reason to throw hollow sights in the trash. The Glock 18 was added to the game. It is a 9mm pistol that's notable for its automatic fire. It is, however, incredibly rare and does fairly low damage per shot. I couldn't get an exact damage rating, but it seems to be about 18 damage on an unarmored body shot. The Groza assault rifle was also added as a care package only gun. It shoots 7.62 ammunition and holds 30 rounds by default or 40 with an extended magazine. It doesn't seem to take an AR compensator, but I believe it will accept a suppressor. The Groza has a higher rate of fire than the AK, and I believe it also has a higher bullet velocity. I didn't really have a chance to test out the damage since I got sniped as soon as I picked it up, but it should outclass the AKM in damage per second. Overall, this seems like a pretty good patch. They seem to focus a lot on optimization, which is a really good thing. But they also introduced a few graphical glitches.
My biggest disappointment about this patch is they haven't added the flannel shirt yet. 